A project manager is a job role which you find both within and outside of construction. Broadly speaking, as the name suggests, they manage projects from start to finish. In this video, we want to look specifically at what a project manager's day looks like in a construction project compared to a quantity surveyor and understand the differences in salary, helping you to gain a greater understanding of both construction professions. Before we start, we'd like to say a huge thank you for the engagement you gave us on our last video. We really appreciate you guys taking the time to express your support. In the video, we said that if we reach 50 likes, we'd turn the topic into a series. You guys blew that out the water with over 100 likes in a week. We'll be uploading more on Excel and other commonly used software in the following weeks. If there's any other areas you'd like to see us cover on Excel or other pieces of software, let us know in the comments. We really appreciate all the recommendations. So let's start by giving you a definition of the roles. A quantity surveyor is a professional within the construction industry concerned with cost, procurement and contracts. To make it even more simple, the main reason a company would hire a quantity surveyor is to accurately manage the cost on a project. Project managers oversee the planning and delivery of construction projects. They ensure that work is completed on time and within budget. They organize logistics, delegate work and keep track of spending. As a project manager, you'd liaise with clients and construction professionals to arrange schedules and direct activities. A QS is focused on the cost and value of a project and a project manager is focused on the planning and delivery of projects. A normal day for a quantity surveyor may include estimating or forecasting the cost of labor, plant and materials required for a project, preparing tender documents, contracts, budgets, bills of quantities and other documentation, tracking changes to the design or method of working and adjusting budget projections accordingly, procuring or agreeing on the services of contractors or subcontractors who work on the construction of a project, measuring and valuing the work completed on site, issuing payments to subcontractors, liaising with the client and other construction professionals such as site managers, project managers and site engineers, selecting and sourcing construction materials. A normal day for a project manager may include understanding what the client or company wants to achieve, agreeing timescales, costs and resources needed to deliver a project, drawing up a detailed plan on how to achieve each stage of a project, selecting and leading a project team, negotiating with contractors and suppliers, directing a multidisciplinary team, communicating with staff at every level in a calm and personable way, overseeing several projects at the same time, ensuring that each stage of the project happens on time, on budget and to a high standard, reporting regularly on the progress of a project to the client and stakeholders, coordinating market and customer research, resolving any issues or delays, demonstrating knowledge of all areas of construction, writing bids for tender, managing several projects simultaneously with the support of junior project managers and working in an office or on a construction site. The average salary for a project manager is between 45,000 and 65,000 pounds. And the average salary of a quantity surveyor is between 40,000 and 50,000 pounds. Now we should note, these salaries are based on national averages and should only be taken as a rough guide. They could seem high or low depending on a few factors. For example, your geographical location, the industry you work in, and the type of employer, i.e. client, contractor, or subcontractor. Hopefully this video provides you with the information required to make a calculated decision in which career you'd like to pursue. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.